Welcome to this short video for the installation of Wallboard FX. I'm just run, launching the MSI installer and as part of that I've only got one question that I need to answer and which is the TCP port number to host the web application on. Now I could just use the default port of 80, I can test that, but if you're on a system that has something else already using that port you'll get a, a warning like this. And in this case, because something's already using port 80, I'm just going to change it, in this case, to port 8080. I click Test, and that's available, so I will use that. So we click Next and Install. That will copy over the files and uh, install and start the service, the Windows service that runs Wallboard FX. And when this, once this is complete, it will now launch the kind of default web browser for the actual admin interface to allow us to configure wallboard fx and within here i'm just going to insert my license key that's great so it's uh, activated that online and i'm just going to confirm that i want to now go and configure the application so i just click ok and it will take me to the configuration page i'm just entering the ip address of the uccx system and I'm entering a password that I want to use to administer the wallboard application. I click save and what it's now going to do is just collect some statistics and just build a default wallboard display so you can get up and running immediately. So there we are, we have uh, five CSQs all chosen from the system and uh, we've just got one agent logged in at the moment and that's visible as well.